It's as if he'd been born with wings. Tony Bender is in the air almost every day. He's an expert at finding air currents that take him upwards, way up. Innsbruck in the Austrian Alps. This gondola takes Tony Bender up to 2,200 meters above sea level. Bad weather is expected. No one but Bender would fly in conditions like these. The wind's pretty strong today. We're going to need a lot of luck. And it could be that we don't get up in the air at all. But for Bender, bad weather is sometimes good. He often tests paragliders under extreme conditions. Today, a cold front with westerly winds and thunderstorms is on the way. Mistakes could have fatal consequences. What's dangerous about paragliding is when you're just above the ground. I'll pay extra attention during the first 30 to 40 seconds until I've reached the proper height. As soon as I'm 50 to 100 meters above ground, I can use my safety valve. The safety valve is Tony's reserve parachutes. They're stowed in a harness on his back and could be essential in an emergency. Bender's paraglider is a prototype whose dimensions are two and a half by 11 meters of nylon. Bender's employer is a paraglider maker near Innsbruck. Here he discusses his test flights with the developers. This paraglider will cost about 3,000 euros if it passes all the tests. It's marketed to experienced flyers. And it could be that some customers buy the paraglider only because Tony Bender tested it. At the first German Championships, we stood and watched open-mouthed, admiring how Tony kept himself in the air. With us, it's a bit of a psychological game. Whoever gets into the air can watch the others from above, and he's the dominant one. All the others flew from the takeoff point to the landing point, and he stayed in the air for three quarters of an hour. It was incredible. Right from the start, we were Tony Bender fans. But Tony Bender doesn't just rise, he also falls. In his test flights, he has to put himself into situations that are every pilot's worst nightmare, like a collapsing canopy and a deep plunge. One of his greatest achievements was crossing the Alps without an engine. In all, as he rose and descended over the mountain range, he had to negotiate 40,000 meters of altitude. But his passion involves risks, He's broken various bones at various times. When I'm hanging under a paraglider and don't know what it's going to do, I feel uneasy and frightened. But when I'm testing one and trying all the maneuvers and know it's okay and can be controlled, then I feel safe. Bender's last test flight of the day. He glides into the Ental Valley. He completes about 200 test flights with a paraglider before it goes on the market. It steers well, it's fast, has good forward motion, it glides well. I had a headwind the whole way back, so I'm satisfied. Tony Bender says he wants to paraglide for many years to come because he only really feels at home in the sky.